In March this year I learned tatting. For this I used various YouTube videos and did a lot of trial and error. And over time I tried different patterns and made a few test strips. However, somehow I was missing a goal, a reason. Because the lace in itself is really nice, but just having it hanging on my clipboard and hoping to come up with a useful function at some point didn't really work. So I turned the tables and picked out a garment to make lace for. At the same time, I didn't want to start the craziest project that was floating around in my mind, but rather start small and preferably also follow an instruction. My choice fell on the corset cover and I used the instruction from the Priscilla joke book from 1916 and the instructions gave me enough information about the yarn used and with the pictures to the written instructions I was able to assemble the pattern. The only thing really difficult was that I wasn't really familiar with the terminology of tatting and especially not in English. But with a bit of practice and after I had discovered a mistake, I always made a few knots too many where they didn't belong, I was able to start with the actual project. By now I'm used to my projects taking several months to complete, so I worked on this project on and off for almost six months. The corset cover itself, on the other hand, was finished in just a few days. I liked this design and adapted it to my body measurements in a 3D simulation software. This deformed the pattern significantly from the original shape, but I had expected that, because the pattern seems to work better for women with less buff than I have. When I was satisfied so far, I tested the pattern as a mock-up and had to make significant changes again. Unfortunately, I refused to add darts because I really wanted it to look like the original pattern, without any darts. This made many attempts to make protruding material laying flat on the body really difficult. Nevertheless, at some point I was satisfied and I also had tested the position of the lace I had almost finished by then. I then cut the mock-up apart to transfer the new pattern pieces onto the paper pad. I decided to use a slightly textured linen as the base material, as this gives a nice overall look between the texture of the lace and the fabric. After the usual steps of marking out and cutting the two pattern pieces, I was able to sit down at my machine Dora and try out some new old sewing feet. On eBay I found a small box from Dürkop with various accessories and they actually fit my machine to a large extent, so that's pretty cool. Especially if practical was the food for sewing a rolled hand. This way I could finish the edges in no time.
adult, only joining seams where the ones at the shoulder, which I worked as a princess seam so that I could finish the seam allowance directly. The next step was to pin the finished lace into position. My aim was to pin it as smoothly as possible, which turned out to be surprisingly tricky. But after a while I managed it and then started to sew it on by hand. I didn't use any special technique, just made sure that the seam on the front was pretty much invisible and still held everything together securely. Once the round was sewn down, I cut out the fabric underneath the lace and hemmed it. Similar to the other edges, I decided to use a kind of rolled hem. It is relatively wide because of the thickness of the fabric, but in the end it is just as wide as the other hems I had sewn with the machine. So I think that's fine. The corners of the medallions were the most difficult because I had to fold away a lot of material at the upper corners and there was practically no material to neaten at the lower tips. In the latter case I just put a lot of small overcasting stitches around the edge and I hope it will be secure for a long time. This step was soon finished and now all that was really missing were the buttons. Since the material would phrase extremely easily, I decided after much deliberation to let machine markers sew the buttonholes. I just didn't feel confident enough to sew buttonholes by hand, especially with this material. Well and then, reality sort of caught up with me. The area around the arms was sticking out strangely and I slowly got used to the idea that I would have to put some darts in. I did this right away at the waist too, but they are more pleats than darts I guess. Maybe I have to make friends with the fact that darts are very useful, especially with my body shape. Yeah.
And this is the final result. Since I got a very critical look from my grandma when I told her I wanted to make undergarments with this lace, I will also wear it just like this and quickly decorate the flat before Christmas mood is over again. So, happy holidays! <laughs>